about the net area of angle bars? This is it. If you have hole here and you have hole here, this is the width of the hole. This is the width of the hole, right? This is the thickness of the plate. Okay? So the net area is going to be equal to the thickness times the gross width minus the number of holes okay multiplied by diameter of hole plus s squared over 4g remember that s is the distance center to center of holes in the same direction as the load so g is perpendicular to s so what if we have an angle bar wherein you have hole here you have hole here how do we handle it this is it now our thickness is going to be t our gross width is from the average length from here to here so if this is l1 this is l2 this is going to be l1 over t over 2 while this is l2 minus t over 2 so you have the gross width so you have the gross width as L1 plus L2 minus T over 2 minus T over 2. So minus T. You get it? So while our diameter of hole is going to be the nominal hole diameter plus 2 mm. Okay? All right. Now, our problem is RG. Our S is the distance from this hole to this hole in the direction of the angle bar. And G is from center to center of hole. These are holes, no? So from center to center, if this is A measured from the outer face of the angle bar, this is A, this is B. This is GA, this is GB. Our G is equal to GA plus GB. Our GA is A minus T over 2. Our GB is B minus T over 2. So therefore, this is going to be A plus B minus T over 2 minus T over 2 minus t so that's why our great distance from gauge distance from center to center here is going to be a plus b minus t you get it you follow okay so this is going to be wg minus n diameter of hole plus s squared over 4 G. Let us try to have an example. Now suppose this section is an angle bar 100 by 100. So this dimension gives us the outer dimension or width of the angle bar. This is 100, this is 100 and the thickness is 12 mm. Now the longitudinal distance center to center of these two holes is 150. Our A from center to outer face is 40. From center to outer face is 40. So we want here the net area. So our diameter of hole here is going to be equal to the nominal diameter of hole plus 2 mm. According to the problem, the bolt is 16 mm diameter metric, 16 mm. So, for 16 millimeter diameter bolt, the nominal diameter of our hole from our NSCP table is 16 plus 2. So, that is 18. So, this is 18 plus 2. So, the diameter of hole is 20 mm, right? And the area and the gross width of the 
angle bar is 100 plus 100 L1 plus L2 minus the thickness which is 12 mm. So therefore, the gross width is going to be equal to 188 millimeters. Okay? And our S, if the load is in this direction, in the direction of the angle bar, so our S is 150. Our only problem is the G from here to here. So our G is going to be equal to GA plus GB, A plus B minus T. So this is going to be 40 plus 40 minus 12. It's 80 minus 12, so that is 68. So our G is 68. So for this section, for a failure in this direction, this one, this one, for that line of failure, our area net is going to be the thickness times the gross width minus n times diameter of hole plus s squared over 4g. We substitute the thickness of plate is 12, the gross width is 188. <laughs> Diameter N, two holes. Diameter of hole, that is 20, plus S, your S is 150, over 4 times G, the G is equal to 68. So, computing this, the net area must be equal to 2768.68. Millimeter squared. This is our area net. Remember, in the computation of area effective, you must also compare it with the value of 85% A gross. So this is 0.85 times the thickness, that is 12, times the average gross width, 188. So this is going to be 1917.6 millimeter squared. So take note that this is still more critical than this because the net area of a section with hole cannot be more than 85% of A gross. You get it? You follow. So between the two, this one will prevail. You get it?